Hi everyone, today's video we are going to make these cute little typewriter paper boxes. It's just a little typewriter. And then here's another one. This was the first one I made that I had shared. And then I made another one. Use, this is using the Maggie Holmes paper. And then this one is using the Planner Society kit. And then it opens up in the back. And here I got some washi tape. So you could store some, you know, treats in there or embellishments. I'm here. I have some bows. I've got three sets of bows in there. And I use this old die by Tim Holtz. It's the vintage typewriter die. And I believe I've seen these at Tuesday morning. So if you have a Tuesday morning, check it out. Because um, I know Tuesday morning still has these. All right, so let's go ahead and make these. These are really fun to make. And the paper collection that I'm going to use is this kit that I um, purchased a while back, but I know Hobby Lobby still carries it. It's called My Happy Place. It's by Webster's Pages. It's a 13-piece paper and sticker kit to get all these cute pages. So we're going to use that kit today, and then... I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use the stickers, so I'll put these to the side. Okay, so um, I designed this to where you can create the boxes um, with one 12 by 12 sheet, so you can make two of these boxes with one sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut. And to create the box, the width is going to be six inches. So let's go ahead, let me just put these up here. Let's set this over here. Okay, so it's going to be six inches the width. So let's cut it at six inches. Okay. And then the height is ten and a half. So let's cut it ten and a half. And you could save this piece, you know, to create a tag or something with that. Okay, so we've got that there. Now we're going to need our trimmer. So let's get our scoreboard here. I mean, not trimmer, our scoreboard. And... All right, so we are going to put it at the ten and a half inch side, and you're going to score at half an inch. Now, this um, half an inch mark before I score that. Remember, when you score that, you want to decide which you want to be the outside. So I want this to be the outside of my box. So I'm going to flip it over, and then because there's no um, it's just pretty much a checkerboard image. There's not a specific design. You want to just kind of do this so you have an idea of where the box will open. So for example, so when it opens like this, you just want to make sure the direction of the paper is correct. So um, it's going to open like this, so that's right. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to score it half an inch. And then at two. Three and a half. Seven and a half. And then, yeah, that's it. So it's half, two, three and a half, and then seven and a half. And then you're going to turn it on the six inch side and you're going to score it one and a half. And then at four and a half. Okay, so that's all you need to do there. Oh, before you do that, I forgot, you have to mark. So put it back, put your paper back, and you're going to need a pen. So let's take a pen. And you're just going to 
you know, just mark a little dot. It's just going to be a little guide, and I'll show you why. So you're going to mark it at five inches. So I just put like a little line right here, and then I flip it over, and then I mark it at the five. I just put a little dot, okay? Because we're going to trim. So let's put away the scoreboard here. Get my bone folder, start folding these score lines. So you could basically make this typewriter um, for any theme. It doesn't have to be a specific theme. And that's what's fun about this project. You can use any design paper. Be cute to make one for Halloween and for Christmas. So just fold those. Okay, now we're going to do some cutting. So let's get our scissors. Okay, so this is the half inch side. You can see where it's the half an inch. What you're going to do is you're going to cut that half inch and then the first square out, okay? So we'll cut that out. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So it should look like that. And then I take my little corner rounder and I corner round these corners. I use the, let's see, what is this, a seven millimeter? You can use any corner rounder. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Okay. So it's just easy to, you know, close the box. Okay, so you got that. Now you're going to cut your slits right here on the next score line here. So just cut a slit. And I like to cut this at an angle. It just makes it easier. Then I just even it out on this side. Just a little piece there. Not a lot. Okay, and then the next score line, you're going to cut a slit there as well. And then do the other side. Okay, now you're going to take back your trimmer. So let's get our trimmer. Now remember those little marks that we made at that 5 inch? What you're going to do is you're going to fold this down. You're going to take that little dot that we made with the pen, place it on your trimmer, so you're going to place it where it cuts, okay? You're going to place that dot right there, and then you're going to place this end right here, right where it cuts as well, because you're going to cut in a diagonal line there. And what I love about this trimmer, it has a wire, so I can see if I'm within that paper, which is great about this trimmer. So just cut. Okay, so you're gonna end up with something like that. Okay, now you're gonna flip it. I'm gonna find that other dot that we created and then just fold this in and do the same thing. We're gonna line that up where it cuts. And then I just use the wire Make sure I'm all lined up. 
Okay, so now you're going to end up with something like this. So it should look like that so far. Okay, so we got that. Next thing we want to do is we want to um, take some adhesive and add adhesive to these tabs right here. I'm going to use some wet glue, my favorite, which is this Beacon Fabitrack glue. And let's go ahead and add some glue on this. And then we're going to slowly build the box. So you've got that. Just give it a good press. Just make sure it's all nice and lined up. Okay, let's do the other side. I want to see if this fits a gift card. I didn't even test that out. I have a gift card right here. Oh, look it. Perfect. It's gift card. So you can put a gift card in here. It's good to know. Okay, so you got that. Now the next step, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, because this is going to have to go down like this. Okay, that's what creates the slant of the typewriter. So before you add any glue, what I do next is I push this down, okay, and then I take my hand and I pinch it right here just to hold it still, okay, and, well, actually, no, let's do that again. So you're going to close it, okay, and you're going to hold it right here, okay, and just want to do it like this. We'll hold it like this. See how I'm holding it? Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. Okay? So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm just going to hold this down like so. And you can see how I'm just basically holding the box. I'm going to cut that. Okay. So that's what creates the slant for the box. Okay. Now I'm going to glue that down. So let's add some glue to the inside. both sides because this glue doesn't dry right away. Gives you some time. So we just hold that down. And then same thing here. Give it a good press. Okay and now you got your cute little box. And then this just goes down like so. Okay, so now to add the front, the typewriter part, I went ahead and pre-cut the typewriter with the die. And I cut two of them, um, just I want it to be a little bit extra sturdy, my typewriter. So I just used some white cardstock and then the design paper. So we're just going to glue that one on top of another. And you can add design paper to the back if you don't want it to be just a plain color. You can do that as well. And that'll just make it even more sturdy. So I'm just adding my glue. Okay. I'm going to place that right on top, like so. Let's give it a good press. 
And you have the option if you wanted glitter, the little handles right here. I did that with um, the ones I already made. Okay, so we got that. Now you want to turn it over and I just add some red line tape and you'll see where I place it. Okay, so let's just add some red line tape. See, this is a new one, so I have to find the end. Okay, here it is. Let me get my scissors. Okay, so let's add it. Now, I'm just going to add it just a little piece right here, because it, it just needs to lay right on the box, like right here, so you don't have to cover the entire bottom piece. And then I add a piece right above that. And then another piece right here. You can use wet glue, you don't have to use double-sided tape. It's optional the adhesive you want to use. And then, <clears throat> what I do to this, you'll see that there's like a cut right here. I just kind of bend it, like so. I bend it forward. Okay, and then I just add right here. And I'll bring it up closer so you can see where I put the tape. Okay, so you can see where I put the tape. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel that out. Then we'll adhere it to the box. Just place it right on top. So this is just a 1 8 double sided red line tape. Okay, so we're gonna, this one, I don't know if you noticed, I put it a little bit above the box and turns out I actually like it all the way at the end of the box. I like it at the very bottom, so we're going to do this one like that too. So we're just basically centering it. This side section right here should land nicely on the box, so kind of just eyeball it. Make sure it's in the middle there. Should be good. And then just press like so. And this should kind of go up like that. Okay, so there's your typewriter. And then we're going to embellish. So the little piece of paper that's coming out of the typewriter, this basically measures one and three eighths inches wide by two and a half inches in height. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna score a quarter inch on the two and a half inch side. So let's score at a quarter inch. And then we're gonna take this tool and what we're going to do is we're going to curl it like so, and then curl it the other way. So it has that, that wave to it, okay? And this we're going to fold up. And we're going to add some double-sided tape to that. Cut that. You could pre-stamp your sentiment if you like. I'm just going to use a image that I cut, fussy cut out from the paper. So what we're going to do to that, you see where the slit is, we're just going to slide it in. Now you could put this before you adhere it down, um, or you could do it after. It's probably, actually it's better that you did it before, because now I adhere that down. Hmm. 
All right, how are we going to fix this without messing it up? Okay, hopefully I didn't press it all the way down. Okay, good. Still able to stick this in there. Yeah, do it before you press, um, put down this typewriter. Sorry about that. So you're going to slide it in. And right where the score line is, you line it up with that line. All right, this thing is sticking to each other. This red line tape is really sticky. Okay, so now you're just going to center it, you know, with this curve right here. So that should be good. Okay, now I can press it down. Yeah, put the paper before you put down the typewriter because it will be much easier. All right, there we go. Okay, luckily it wasn't adhered all the way down. Okay, perfect. And then I just cut out some of these images from the design paper. I put a little pop dot under behind the cute little unicorn. So I'm going to cut, I mean not cut, I cut out this little tree. I'm going to glue. So let's glue the tree first. So I'm going to glue this guy. I'll put it in the corner like so. And then I add a little heart. And if you have, like, I have a typewriter um, letter set, a letter stamp set, um, but I don't know where I put it. And you can make your own little, spell out your little words here. That would be cute. So we're just doing some layering here. I want to add our cute little unicorn. I like to add some glue to the pop dot, a little extra security there. And then I'm just going to place this little guy right here by the tree, like so. Okay, and then this one, I'm just going to add it to the paper. So this is going to be my sentiment. So you can stamp, you can use like here, how I use little stickers. There's lots of different ways that you could decorate this little paper. Okay, so that's that. And there you go, and that's how you make it. And then this cute little bow that I put, I just need to die cut a bow right there and place it right there. Um, that's using this, my all time favorite Dynamics Dainty Bow Die. This is like my go to die. I use it all the time and I just basically adhere it right on top of the box because the reason why I did that is because it gives me uh, just a nice grip to open the box um, but these are so fun to make I hope you give it a try if you do please share with me your video I'd love to see your typewriters and thanks for watching bye